Do you think there's any truth to the rumors uh, that, you know, I've been hearing this for years. I never knew how true it was or not. Um, that Al Sharpton tried to set up a Phoenix Shakur. He wore a wire to try to set up to, look, you know, look, so they could arrest him. No, no, no. That, that, you see, don't fish with me. Do I think there's any room? I don't deal with rumors, okay? And mm-hmm. if I sit and tell you, all you got to do is get the, 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 the New York Post. They ran a five series story on him and talk to government agents. So, so look, if I raped a five year old child, and I'm babysitting for you, and your child ends up getting raped. Why wouldn't you think I did, huh? You're dealing with rumors, huh? And so I'm saying it's out there. All you got to do is go to reputable folks and people. It's there, you know. But you can't go to the New York Times and Washington Post because if it's government, they're not going to run it. They're not going to run it at all. And so, and so consequently, you know, for you young people, there was a woman named Martha Mitchell. You ever heard of her? No. Okay. Well, that's an assignment you have. She was married to John Mitchell, who was the U.S. Attorney General under Richard Nixon. Okay? Now, when you become the U.S. Attorney General, right, you become the number one cop in the world, right? Mm-hmm. Because you America's cop, right? Mm-hmm. And so she overheard the old white boys sitting around the house one Saturday, you know, where women is not allowed in the room. You don't tell them, they just know they're not, right? And she heard the old powerful white boys discussing blowing up the World Trade Building, huh? And she couldn't wait till they left, and she confronted John. And I hear you all talking about blowing up the World Trade Building. I don't know, but if they was talking about it, it wasn't me. They might have been talking about it. And she said, well, I think the American people need to know about it, so I'm going to hold a press conference Monday and announce it, right? She got kidnapped. Now, it's one thing kidnapping the attorney general's wife. To this day, nobody's been arrested, huh? Okay. Uh-huh. Did you hear what I just said? Mm-hmm. And while she was kidnapped, she said they shot her in the butt. It was a cancer shot, and that's where she died from. Hmm? Well, this is America. Do whatever they want to do because, you see, I've always said if I ever took over the country, I'd make black folks apologize to white folks because we mad at the wrong white folks. The white folks we mad at couldn't help us if they liked us. Do you really believe the Ku Klux Klan determined public policy, huh? You hear me? Yeah. Okay. And so, do you remember the story of the the brother in Africa, down down to Georgia where they found him dead in the gym? Right. Uh, and uh, in the corner, and everybody said that uh, he either committed suicide or he got trapped in there and, and smothered to death, okay? All right? Uh, now, we find out that there was a girl, two brothers, and a father, and I'm saying this for a reason. The girl lured him, white girl, lured him over to the gym. The two brothers beat him to death, and the father instigated all of it. And he was an FBI agent. That's what the FBI is not so scared how will this break? It's out there. It's out there. You can Google it and find out. But this this goes on, you know, every day. I'm the one who released the pictures with the bullet in Ron Brown's head. And they, they took that plane down. Wasn't nobody on it. They killed everybody. Then crashed the plane and made like it was a plane wreck. They couldn't deny it when I released the pictures because why the white folks at the Armed Force Institute of Pathology, they the ones that did the autopsy. They gave it to me, okay? And they were not denying that that's, that's what happened, okay? So that, that that's America. You know, speaking of um, attorney generals, uh, the outgoing attorney general, Eric Holder, he was um, in a recent interview, he was, in, he was being interviewed by Mike Allen, and Mike Allen asked him, uh, 
what book would he recommend any young man to read, um, you know, coming to Washington? And he stated that he would tell them uh, to read the autobiography of Malcolm X. Now, considering everything happened in this country. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Did he say why he wanted to read that? Uh, yeah, he, he stated that he wanted people to see what Malcolm went through when he was young and his transition into becoming a, a Muslim and then his transition into having respect for all of humanity. So he was talking about his journey and he and he loved the journey that he went through. Okay, was he uh was he uh attorney general when he told him that? Uh this is recently. I mean Okay, well no, I ask you that because yeah, yeah. when you're attorney general you have access to all kinds of stuff. Okay. Right, right. Now let me tell you what happened and see why I got more access than he did, okay? All right. They deliberately on page one twenty two of the Malcolm book, right? You see, Alec Haley came in here from naval intelligence, okay? He traveled with Malcolm, he stayed with Malcolm, okay? So when Malcolm is killed, the book comes out. Nobody didn't realize that's not what Malcolm told him, huh? Nobody. So they think all that stuff is in that nasty, no good, double crossing book that oh. Alex told. Me. Okay, now the Attorney General don't know that, huh? Mm. Okay, on page one hundred and twenty-two, they got Malcolm saying Dick Gregory told him about Elijah Muhammad's women. I didn't know Elijah had any women. Okay? But, John, don't read that. You believe it because there's nobody to tell you that it wasn't. Huh? Oh, they wow. ran to me and asked me about doing I'm not doing nothing. That filthy movie. You mean y'all don't know this? Huh? And so automatically here's what the plan was. The first time you was introduced to uh, Malcolm X, you, okay? You hear me? Yeah, I mean. What did you know about him at your age? Oh, the first time I was introduced to him? Yeah, through, through information or literature. Uh, just that he was that he was Muslim, and that uh, you know, pretty much what pretty much what they tell you in the movie. I didn't know too no, much. No, 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 no. I'm saying before, before you didn't know nothing about him being a damn pimp, huh? No, no, no. Or selling drugs, okay? Am I just about the Muslim? You? Just about okay. The Muslim. That's what I'm asking you, yeah. and I ask you that because I know I'm not talking to a fool, huh? Mm -hmm. You ask me something, and I'm trying to unwind it for you, okay? So that's all the world ever knew of Malcolm, one of the finest speakers in the history of the planet, right? Oh, we heard him, and he was in jail. We heard him. He was, he was, uh, uh. uh Malcolm Red and all that stuff, huh? But we never saw it, huh? We never saw it. If you turn on the news and find out that five people was murdered yesterday, but if you was passing by that corner and saw that, huh? You will not talk about nothing else. You don't want to go see no damn football game tomorrow. So we had never seen that, huh? Until the movie come out. How many how many people read the whole book, huh? Right. You saw the movie Malcolm, right? Mm hmm Okay, now there's a scene in there where Malcolm was in the barbershop getting his hair combed. Remember that? Yeah. And the water pipes was froze, right? Mm hmm And they couldn't get no water because conk is lie, right? Mm hmm and so they carried him into the bathroom and stuck his head down in a commode, right? Mm -hmm. Remember that scene? Yeah, yeah. Now, look at the bath uh, toilet, okay? In order to get water into your hair, you got to put your head so far down in there, you would drown because your nose get to the water before it gets to your hair, okay? But here's all the folks, here's the hero looking at Malcolm put his head in the toilet <laughs> where people do do, 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Those little things, that hits you, huh? And then after that, you didn't see no more. After that movie, you didn't see no more Malcolm X T-shirts. I'm doing college speaking dates, and I go up there, 90% of the white children that come to the lecture got, got Malcolm X caps on, right? That's how they killed it. That's what it was about. That's how they killed it. Now, let me take it further than that. Malcolm did not know, neither did Elijah Muhammad know, that those letters that Malcolm was getting with Muhammad's Elijah's name on it was coming from Jehovah. The letter that 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 that, that, that Elijah was getting with Malcolm's name was come from Gigahoop. who set up the whole thing. Okay. Now, what we look at is the book comes out, and why wouldn't you think you know the uh, the book? And then the movie comes out, and now they dramatize the whole the whole bit, right? Now, Malcolm called me that Sunday morning that they assassinated. And he said, Brother Greg, uh, uh, Brother Malcolm, uh, uh, I was working at the, 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 the village gate, uh, Basin Street East, closing that Sunday night. They talked to Malcolm the day before. Me and Adam Powell had hung out with him a couple of days. And Malcolm had started carrying a gun. That's what fear do to you, right? I said, Malcolm, suppose you're chasing somebody who shot at you down the street and you hit and kill a seven-year-old child. Your stuff is over, man. Hmm? Your stuff is over. Huh? Now, Malcolm lived way up on the hill so his house was firebombed. And all the news was saying that uh, uh, Malcolm X's house had been firebombed uh, 15 minutes ago. And uh, the police said it was a, a green Pontiac license plate, such and such a thing. Well, what they were saying to the folks that did it, get rid of that car, okay? All right? Get rid of that car. Plus, if you know Malcolm, his house was sitting like a, uh, almost a half a mile from the street. So you're going to tell me somebody's going to come through a driving car and throw a Molotov cocktail out the window and it goes up to the house? Huh? Right, yeah. Okay, so now, so when, I, when Malcolm called me and tell me, said this, so remind you, I'm speaking at, you know, the Ottoman, you know, says this one, no, you're going to be there. I said, Malcolm, I'm going to be there. Matter of fact, I'm not going to let the government get two for the price of one. He said, I'm sorry you feel no, I feel that way. No, but they're after you, man, not me. And I said, and I love you so much, man. Let me tell you what I, I had my wife, Lillian, book me a date two weeks ago, Sunday morning, at a college located by O'Hare Field in Chicago. And so I leave here in another hour and a half. And when you there, I can't even get the urge to come and see you, man. Just like that. And so I'm I'm speaking, and the guy bring me a note of him, said they just killed Malcolm a few minutes ago. Now, now we go through the whole thing. And, you know, I'm used to being scared in the South or whatever, Hits you before fear. But the first time I ever, I knew it could happen, the first time I ever, ever, ever hmm, thought they're going to blow up the funeral. And they had, they had, they had uh, police, they had uh, uh, National Guard on the rooftop. <laughs> and I know if it happened, they're the ones going to do it, right? But I went anyway. I went anyway to the funeral. I'm thinking about wow, man. That's so now, now. Let's take it past that. Malcolm X was in the the Ottoman ballroom. You saw the, all the pictures. Of, he was up on the stage speaking. You saw that, right? Yeah. Okay. And somebody released a stink bomb in the back. You know about that, right? Mm-hmm. 
and while the people was running and hollering and screaming, people with their children and stuff, these black men rushed up to the stage, right? They was on the floor. Malcolm was up on the stage, remember? Mm -hmm. And they shoot him. And the next thing you see is Malcolm's on the floor, and you see this black man giving him mouth to mouth, right? Mm -hmm. Then we find out the black man is a New York undercover agent, so undercover his paycheck comes from the New York Utilities Company, right? Now, what does that mean? It means this. When you shot in the chest, you don't give mouth to mouth because you die from air bubbles in the lungs. So if you look at Malcolm's autopsy and Lee Harvey Oswald's autopsy, they both died from the same thing, air bubbles in the lung. Because they shoot you in the chest and they have somebody run up there and look like a good Samaritan. Okay, so now it goes on and it goes on. So then find out that Malcolm whole mindset changed. And, and you know the beautiful thing about the innocence of people. When Malcolm was assassinated, everybody around the world was told by NBC, CBS, ABC, FBI, okay, everybody that it was the nation of Islam, right? Mm -hmm. My grandmother don't know nothing about no nation of Islam except she see them on the corner. Uh, they're very clean. They're very neat. You never hear them cuss. As much as the white Americans hated them, none of them was ever been busted for drugs. They never found drugs in the mosque or nothing like that, right? And so there was a whole a whole game. It's like, it's like a, a tag of woods. <laughs> Black folks will, will, you know, Old black folks loved him. Why? He went to Stanford. They didn't know he never graduated from Stanford, right? He wasn't too dark for them. Do I need to repeat that twice? Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. They didn't know nothing about if if, if 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 you was turning the channel and saw golf, you just kept turning, right? Right. All right. So now the black folks was coming up here so fast from the south that they didn't have enough time to build churches. They didn't have the money, right? So what the churches did, they started having three services, one at 9 and one at 11 o'clock, right? Well, that's the original one. Do you know black folks would not go to no service but the 11 o'clock church because they say God wasn't at them other ones, right? <laughs> hmm. Then here come Tiger Woods, right? <laughs> So what time what time do the golf start? <laughs> Sunday. Twelve o'clock, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. They couldn't go to church and be there. Them black folks are going to the seven o'clock service, man. <laughs> so they could see their man. <laughs> they could okay. see. Now watch this. When Tiger Wood started getting sick and missing games, right? And looked like he wasn't gonna play no more, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know the crowd that all your major golf Decreased by fifty percent. Did you know that? Wow. Huh? I didn't know that. And here's the reason. Fifty percent of all the white folks that went to the golf tournament, fifty percent went there so they could be there to see him lose. Okay. <laughs> wow. So if he's not playing, they don't have to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, watch this, and I get back to Malcolm. Watch this now. So. He had to win four more games to tie. Uh, uh, what's his name? The white boy, Jack, Jack Nicholas. Jack Nicholas. Jack. He yeah. had to win five more to be the number one all-time champ, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what the that's what the whooping was about. There was a mob whooping. I, I know somebody that, that know somebody at the hospital. They brought him to right. And I, one of my research, get a call and they passed the word off to me that if I came down there tonight and they carried me in his room, if they didn't tell me, okay, he was Tiger Woods, I wouldn't have known him. He was beat unrecognizable. That was a mob whooping, okay? Wow. All right? Wow. Now all the stuff started coming out, right? All the stuff started coming out, everything. Hmm? All the women. Well, 
the one woman that, uh, that uh, and it, you know how long it was set up because the woman he married, his wife, his, uh, his uh, what's the guy that hang with you? Your caddy, right? Yeah. He was the caddy's wife, girlfriend, the white woman, Tiger Man, right? So you right. see how long that plot was there, right? Mm-hmm. So now the one white girl he had to to Sweden to see him play, right? She was underage, right? So there's a law that's on the books, but it's not supposed to be on the books, and I'll explain that why I'm saying that. She was underage, so there's a law called a white slavery law, right? You wear that? No. A teenager across state lines for MR. Oh, yeah, right, 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 yeah. They passed that over 100 years ago to shut down Jack Johnson, the greatest boxer that ever lived, right? Heavyweight, okay? And one of the senators said, well, this don't fit him because uh, that's his wife. He said, any white woman that would have sex with a nigger is a hoe. Hmm? Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, let's follow this now. So he, uh, they bust him on that. And he was arrogant, man. He, they, 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 they couldn't do nothing less than just kill him. He was, he, he flaunted at them. You know, this is my woman, my wife, tell me what to do, man. Right? And, um, uh, so uh, <clears throat> he's in jail, and after that, it was almost seventy some years. They didn't let another Negro become heavyweight champ of the world. And when Joe Lewis became heavyweight champ, there was a deal made. The first twenty fights you have. Uh, this white group will split 50-50. You have nothing to say about it. If you don't do it, the world will never hear of you, okay? And and if you win, they know he's a win. All they got to do is throw fights for him, huh? And he don't even have to know it, right? And so uh, and if you win, you can never throw your hands up in the air, right? Because we think it would cause a riot in the state. So if you look at the, the footage, they didn't have TV then. You would see after the fight, all he would say is, uh, 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 "Her mama, this, I thank God I win. I had another lucky day." That's all he would say. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Then the movie came out called King Kong. Did you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A gorilla with a white lady. What city was it? In New York or Chicago? I think it was New York. Right, okay. Why was it New York? <laughs> because it was the story of Jack Johnson and the white lady. You ever ask yourself, man, why would a gorilla be in New York? Ain't no trees and Lord no <laughs> ain't no bananas. Hmm? Yeah. What's in New York? The symbol Madison Square Garden, the boxing capital of the world. Okay, see how it works? Hmm? See how it works? <laughs> uh-huh. So that law is still on the book. Now, I'm not telling you this from proof. I don't need no proof on this. I know about the whoop, and I didn't let them send me the pictures because it's a federal law to have somebody else's hospital records, right? Mm-hmm. So all at once now, I know the deal they must have made with him. Uh, the little underage girl you took, uh, we're going to give you five to ten years in jail. So your golf shit's over anyway, huh? No. Nah. If you want to beat that, we'll have an open investigation, huh? And you play for a little while longer, and then you hurt your leg or hurt your back or hurt your arm, and then you shut the stuff down. Hmm? We have what you have, okay? Yeah. That's what that's where that go, okay? And and now consequently, we'll get back to uh, uh, to Malcolm, and uh, and so all that was woven in there. So Malcolm ends up. The beautiful thing is, man, I'm 83 years old, man. Uh, I know black folk would never be a Muslim, huh? Hmm? In life, 
but I've never seen a race of people stop eating a certain food because of a Muslim. Mm. I know black folks stop eating pork, okay? Because of the the Muslim, the teachings, the whole thing, man. Would never be a Muslim if they life depended on it. <laughs> but they, but they stop eating life. pork. Right. You hear me? Yeah. Stop eating pork. And now you go in the restaurant and say, I like to say, you know, it got a little pork in it. That's the owner tell you that, huh? That's the power that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad had, huh? Okay? And so I had my cousin, uh, the Muslim, born into it. And I, I said to him, I said, hey, man, Merry Christmas. He said, I, I ain't no Merry Christmas. I don't believe in no whitey Christmas holiday. I said, but let me tell you something. If Christmas come on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and your bank is closed, <laughs> you believe in it. <laughs> it's crazy. And then I said, now, I'm going to take you to my Black Baptist Church, right? My Black Baptist Church. And you're going to see this black preacher standing there, and right behind him you're going to see a white Jesus, right? <laughs> now, I'll go to your temple. i see the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Standing there right behind me, seeing the white boy named Farad. <laughs> the same symbol. <laughs> okay. okay. What you lawyer? It's the same symbol. Huh? And so, consequently, the, if, if if you got an old black woman, old black man, running down the street from some thugs, and they see a cop on the corner over there, and they see a pimp over there, and a Muslim standing with the newspaper, they'll run to him because they know they're safe. Huh? Did you hear what I just said? Yeah, that was deep, yeah. Okay, they'd run to him because they know while they stand in there, they're not going to hear no cussing. Hmm? They're not going to see no dope deals being made at the bus stop, huh? Now, so when the thing happened and they saw it was the nation of Islam, not one nation of Islam had to get off the corner the day he was killed or any time after because there's something in black folks' spirit they know they was lying. They didn't know nothing else. Hmm? They know those folks that I see did not do that. Huh? Now let's go back to the uh, the Ottoman ballroom, right? the brother that was mouth-to-mouth, he's CIA agent now. Okay? And so now they... So now we find out that the the federal government has the autopsies on Malcolm X. Well, hey, wait a minute, hold it. Oh, come on, y'all. That wasn't a federal crime. <laughs> <laughs> it, it wasn't robbing a bank. <laughs> Why are y'all doing the autopsy? So I hit some of my strings. <laughs> when they send a Chicago Tribune front page story, me and Hoover's picture on the front page. Headlines, use mob to kill Dick Gregory. Okay, that's this viciousness. That black folks and white folks just walk down the street and think you're living in such a wonderful place. You're going to be woke up to a rude awakening, huh? The problem wasn't that he sent the message. The problem was, I got to tell Expo Johnson, the head of the FBI in Chicago, got it. <laughs> okay. No. Now, wait a minute. And what's worse than that, when the Chicago Tribune did a front page story, New York Times, okay, uh, uh, the Chicago Sun, LA Times, no other paper ran that story. Come on, y'all. If it would have been the opposite that they intercepted the, well, I had some, some hit people to wipe out who, it would have been in every paper, even in funny books, men and children's little readers, huh? So I know how filthy this country is. You all out there listening don't know. Hmm? That's how Hitler took over. That's how Hitler took over. And I don't carry no gun. Huh? I'm listed in the phone book, huh? My children growing up getting those nasty letters. I didn't know when they was going to plant drugs on them or, or send them up or, or kill them. Or, I mean, an agent told me, he said, uh, uh, you're not worried about us killing you. 
if I thought the God I prayed to couldn't protect me against y'all filth or the filth of America, hmm, I'd help y'all pull the trigger, man. Hmm? <laughs> okay? You see, I know that we were sent here to heal the nation, not by Mount Sinai Hospital, by the same God. See, there's different than a God in a church. I love church, man. I go by there. Wow. And I tell the world the strongest two forces in the history of America is the black woman and the black church. And we black men. In order for you to get me, who do you call? My agent or who? Your wife. No, my wife. I know who the black woman is. Mm-hmm. I know who the black woman is. Do you know a black woman in America is the only woman in the history of the planet that can take a butter knife and cut your ties to the rim? Right, you told me that before. Right, you, you hear me? Yeah. See, nobody else can do it, right? That's her. We don't even see that, huh? We don't even see who she is, right? And so consequently, we sit here to heal, huh? We are lightness. Huh? We like the, the, the evil, corrupt folks. They dark. They represent the moon. We represent the sun. Huh? But when the lightness becomes scared of darkness, <laughs> real simple, we leave the show tonight and we go to a little rural area outside of New York City. And there's a building ten times bigger than a football field. And it's nighttime, and we open up the door, and it's pitch black in there, but there's two million rats in there and four million roaches. All we got to do is turn the light on, and they're hard ass, right? Right. The power of light, huh? If the the 12 o'clock noon lasted... One tenth billion of a second longer, everything on planet Earth would be wiped out. Okay, that's the power of light, huh? And then we got nerve enough to re- that they reduce us down to a pimp mentality, huh? In a nasty country that have good schools and bad schools. Did you hear what I just said? Have you ever heard of a good Pepsi Cola or a bad Pepsi Cola? <laughs> no. They say, man, don't go to that bar because they don't know how to make uh, a good rum and coke. They don't know how to make a good mai tai, right? Mm-hmm. But I live in a country, and then duped to believe like white folks at Harvard and Yale are good schools. Real rich, powerful people wouldn't send a rat to Harvard or Yale. Okay, so just ask you a simple ghetto question: If your daughter went to Harvard Medical School, right, mm-hmm. and my daughter went to Ole Miss Medical School, which one around the world got the better degree? Mm, that's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> you believe that Mississippi's medical degree is as powerful as Harvard's? Are you serious? Huh? You don't know that. Hmm? Mississippi? Hmm? Mm-hmm. I mean, how many Nobel Prize people have they had on the staff in Mississippi compared to Harvard, huh? Yeah, okay. they can't compare, yeah. Huh? Yeah, they can't compare to Harvard. Okay. So now what I'm saying is, if me and you go to Harvard tonight and just ask for change for a dollar, but we want it in dimes, how many dimes they give us? Uh, ten dimes. So we go to Ole Miss tonight and ask for change for a dollar, we want it in dimes. How many dimes they give us? Ten. Okay. I live in a system that has more unification with changing my damn dollar than dealing with my mind through education, huh? That's mm. a lot. Huh? Oh, yeah, John got this job, and he works there, and got his children going to good schools. My other brother, they go to bad schools. something wrong with that, huh? So-and-so Catholic school is a good school. So-and-so is a bad school. But so is, those, is that the same folks that's ripping off them little boys' booty? Huh? Mm. That's what you're telling me? Hmm? Trillion dollar industry, but yet the Baptist Church, huh? 
they got little gays in there, but they're not ripping up. I don't have to worry about my children. And see, a pedophile is one thing. A pedophile priest is something else. Why? A pedophile can get to your child, huh? But you didn't send them to him, huh? I sent my children to the Catholic Church, huh? Right. Okay? And so when you sit and you look at where this is, huh? and for those of you all that's, that's listening, uh, when when you do listening to the show, go to your computer and put this date in, uh, February the 2nd, uh, 2013. Hmm? And it was the second, 2013. And punch up uh, Vatican, the the Bank of uh, Italy suspended all Vatican credit cards, okay? You didn't see that in the New York Times or Washington Post. Hmm? Say that one more time to the people. Go punch up on your computer, Google. February the second. You don't have to write it down. I mean, that's that's Groundhog Day, okay? Mm-hmm. February the second, twenty thirteen. Huh? The Bank of Italy, the big bank, mm-hmm. suspended all Vatican credit cards around the world. Why? They was laundering money, uh, dealing in drug money. Trafficking little boys and girls, okay? All right? And then who came in to pick up the slack? <laughs> Swiss Bank. <laughs> the Swiss don't have no guns. They don't carry no guns. <laughs> okay? And you'll see that. And so this is what this is what this is about. And so now we look at Malcolm, the autopsies, and all the bullets in Malcolm is going down. Not for the black folks to be on the floor shooting up, huh? That means you need no research. That means they gave them thugs blanks because they didn't believe that a black person would kill Malcolm. Hmm? So they didn't take a chance. Uh-huh. So, so now I didn't release it through the book because I didn't want them thugs to get out of jail. You know, they mm-hmm. in jail for the murder of being involved with killing Malcolm. You know, I didn't want them to get out of jail. Let them stay there. Let them rot. Now, if they was getting back to chair, I would have released it because I don't believe there's anything you can do. That deserve the state to kill you. If my mama's telling me stealing is wrong, and I see her steal every day, huh? something ain't right about that. Right. There's something different when the state kills you and then tell you killing is wrong. Huh? And so, and, and and so consequently, now, now follow this now. So now we know that Malcolm was shot. Then we realize later research that the CIA had rented the Ottoman ballroom two weeks before Malcolm was assassinated. That's when they cut the holes and put everything. They even took pictures of of that. So that's what we're talking about. This country. And what we don't know, if you live with filth, you become filthy. Huh? You pass by a paper mill. Most of you never pass by. There is no stink like a paper mill, and yet the people work there don't smell it. So we the same thing. We live in America with this filthy nation. We live just so long we don't smell it. Okay, and so that's what that, 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 that's not, we get, we get back now to to Malcolm. Now here's the the, the wild part about Malcolm. Malcolm went to Nairobi and he met a guy. Probably he knew him, but he met him. DePinto, who was editor of the Pan-African magazine, probably the brilliant black book on the planet. And he and Malcolm, they were together for 18 weeks when Malcolm came back, and they'd made a deal that on such and such a day they would meet up 
in New York and take racism to the doorsteps of the United Nations. Hmm? All right? And then talk about criminal charges. Hmm? Okay? The morning that they assassinated Malcolm in New York, they also assassinated the Pinto at the same time in Nairobi. Okay? Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and so... And so when you get back to to Al, now I wouldn't be talking like this had Al not admitted when that in that article. You know, I, I used to work, I used to wear a wiretap, huh? And so that's 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 so that's what you hear now. And Brian Allen, huh? Most folks have never heard of him, huh? He's had a show in L.A. black show. For 30 years, man. Hmm? And here's some punk comes up with. Now, when you look at Al Sharpton, he is probably the most powerful black man in America. Why? One hour every day TV show. Hmm? Three hours every day radio show. Hmm? And so... We can't deny that. My grandmother, she's alive. She's loving. Why wouldn't she? Huh? Why wouldn't she? And white folks found out when he ran for president how witty and clever he was and everything. And he don't think he's not holding his own on that radio, on that TV show. One time there's a black issue with women. He gets more white women on the some team with a black woman on the show. But what, what do you expect? And so... That's how, and that's what they, and that's why if you go to jail, uh, molested, or raped, you got to register for the rest of your life. You say you're not clean, you got to register for the rest of your life. <laughs> the thing about, the weird thing about, if you, you, you urinate in the street, I think all but two states in America, and you get arrested, you have to register as a sex offender. Hmm? You know what I mean? People got to pee real bad. and they. What do you mean? Women don't have to pee real bad? You see them pull their pants out and squat. Mm-hmm. And so that's what the trail that's behind you. Now, before any of y'all, you know, drop this in your computer box, punch up New York Post. They did a five-page series on Al and said, okay, that he wears a watch out for the government. Then Al, the interview with him, he said, I used to. Well, this is an ain't And so Brian Allen comes through. And a whole lot of people listening wasn't born when he that. So I said, you got to look at it and see. And uh, how do I feel about Al? Well, I know if I was living in Mississippi and uh, and something happened, I'd call Al for I call the FBI on certain cases. <laughs> but that's 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 what it is. Uh is he still doing, is still doing it? Uh, I don't know. I could find out if I wanted to. But my thing is once the taint is there, it's there. And uh and so I, uh, in answer to your question, that's, you know. Wow. Now, just to uh, switch but, topics. Let me, before okay. you do that, let me tell you something. And you'd have to do this, too, because this is the most outrageous thing I've seen. I'm sure I told you this on the show, but y'all can pull it. Um, and... Uh, in Ferguson, I go into Ferguson. Mm-hmm. I see Martin Luther King. I see people there. And there's gonna be a big rally. I see y'all better get out of here, man. This is a, this is a trick. This ain't real. Hmm? And then I find out the cop that was blamed wasn't the cop. They switched cops. Okay. What? Right. Then you know the brother that was with him that had his hands in there. Mm-hmm. He had his hands in there. Mm-hmm. And then three days later. I, Researcher called me and said, man, you know Johnson, da da da, da you know, uh, he's in federal FBI protection. 
what? That's not a federal crime. Hmm? Huh. What does he know? Hmm? So then we we go to the day of the killing. He walks out the cigar store. You remember that? Who am I talking to? Are you there? Yeah, yeah, man. I asked you. He, you see the picture where he walked out the cigar store? No, I didn't see that. No. You didn't see the picture where they claim he stole the cigars? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the video. Yeah. Well, you read something. Not, I can hang up. We can do this later. I don't want to waste my time. Because <laughs> you got thousands of people listening to you, and I'm telling you this, walking you through it. So you can pull it up and tell them. I don't know them. They know you. They tune you in, okay? Right, right, right. And so I'm asking you, did you? Because I don't know, the government might have cut the cut the line. That's why I keep saying every now and then I ask you something and I expect you to answer. You don't have to. Hmm? Mm, but my wife know any time you call. He'll run me down. Anyone will say, hey, but you know the guy you like to wear in, 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 in New York and da da da. He wants you on so this, 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 this on Sunday. Huh? Okay? That's how important you are because there's people listening to you who over the times have seen something you say in the New York Times. And especially you got a big black audience. They love it. That's why. I, that's why when I do my stuff, I I, I say here pull it up on the because as long as they Google and see it, it's more valid than a Negro saying. Uh, I don't want to debate that. Okay. Hmm? Mm-hmm. And so all I asked you was, did you see? I didn't assume you saw him. Did you see him when he was walking out of the cigar store? Yeah. Yeah. The reason I'm saying that when I talk to you, I'm talking to your listeners. Google that picture. He got on flip-flops and short pants. Fifteen minutes later, he's laying out there dead. He got on Nike tennis and long pants. I think that's some important information, right? Definitely. Okay. Now, they got uh, the, uh, all the the demonstrations all over the world happened. You saw that, right? Yeah. Except Africa. So I said on the radio show, <laughs> I, said, I wonder what racist people is putting the money behind these demonstrations and Africa wasn't even in their spirit, huh? Not one dem- in London and all of that, huh? Hmm? <laughs> and now we find out that, uh, I can't think of the, 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 uh, the billionaire Greek, big-time Democrat. Now, the Washington Post ran the story that he was the one that was funding those demonstrations around the world. Oh, hmm? oh, hmm? now, on that Thursday night, hmm, when they released the uh, grand jury's results, remember? Mm-hmm. Eight o'clock? Say, wait, ho, 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 wait, 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 wait. We've been demonstrating, they've been having demonstrating every day in Ferguson. And there's never been a ride in the daytime, so why are you going to wait and release this at night? Because those rides was promoted, huh? Okay. And if you look at the the ride <laughs> that night, it, it's black people running out the liquor store with a half pint. I said, wait a minute, half pint? Man. You didn't even get no chips? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what kind of ride is this, or is this planned and made up, huh? Now, when they go back and, and look at the DA. Look at his speech when he said that there's some African-American people from the community that said that he didn't have his hands up. You heard that, right? Yeah. What they didn't tell you is the guy that told them that was his sidekick, the one that told the world he had his hands up, okay? Did mm-hmm. you hear me? Yeah. Uh-huh. So if I'm... 70-year-old black man, not the best average American, and I'm on that grand jury, and I hear him say it, why wouldn't I vote against? Uh, here's the man that said in front of the grand he lied. Now, his best friend was murdered that night. 
in Ferguson, two blocks from where the crime is. They got hundreds of FBI agents, state troopers, National Guard, police we ain't never heard of. Who would be foolish enough to attempt to kill somebody with that type of hardware that close on less than this film? Huh? Okay? New York Times never ran the story. Hmm? The Washington Post ran it two weeks later. And out of all the stuff I read, read about lynching, you could compare that to where they said he was beaten, shot up, killed, and then threw in the, the car, and the car set on fire and burned, okay? And if we looked at the, uh, I think the little guy's name was Rice, the 12-year-old that the cop killed him. Please, remember that? Tamir Rice. Okay. Did you see that on TV? Yeah. All right. Did you see before the cop got there, he was playing in the park with the play gun? Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. That's not important. Go back and look at it again. It's showing the top of his head and the top of the roof. That's coming from a satellite, huh? Go back and look at it again. Hmm? He's playing. Did you see when the police car pulled up? Yeah. Do you know any white cop is going to be told a Negro with a gun and only one car going to show up, not 50, huh? Right, right. That's true. That's true. Okay. So they do it right under your eyes. We see it because they saying it. We don't question it. Uh, who owns a satellite, huh? But the government, huh? And then all at once, all the stuff gets stripped away and stripped away. No charges being filed. Mm. And when you mention Eric Hole, I got some much information. I thought you was going to ask me about something else. Um, when he resigned, huh? Remember? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now, if you or the Attorney General of the United States, and now a new group of people come in, uh, normally you shouldn't be responsible for what happened under the others, right? Right, yeah. But you have to I come to you for the records, right? Mm -hmm. The Attorney General records didn't leave with the Attorney General who you replaced, right? Mm -hmm. So they're bringing Eric Holder out there. Asking him about the uh, what was it the uh, the gun deal in that, that was made from here to Mexico. Uh, well, I think think of what they call it high. And, and fast and furious. Huh? With the fast and furious, that's what yeah, you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, fast yeah. and furious, right? Yeah. So now that's that's his baby, right? I just can't go to the Justice Department and get some stuff somebody else did. I got to go through you, right? You're not blamed for it, but I got to go through you, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, remember, we woke up one day, one morning, Sunday, and the congressman lady in, in Arizona was shot. Right, right. right. And ended up paralyzed and speech effective, right? Mm -hmm. But, you know, somebody else died that day, remember? A federal judge, remember? The judge, yeah. You told me that last time, yeah. Okay, well, because, well... Just more than tell you, he was running fast and furious. He was the fellow job overseeing that. So that's who they was after in the first place, huh? Mm. Hmm? In the first place. And then what happened? The fellow judge here, black guy, said to the attorney general on October the 2nd, I want you to have these papers in here that we're looking for. Uh, the 24th of October. And it ain't going to happen to me what happened to a judge so and so. Not the only way I get out of it, I resign. He didn't do nothing, but he's the overseer of it. So that's what goes on. Huh? That's what goes on. <laughs> and the last thing before I let you give me your, your last, you always be too late. I've gone over. Say that again? Huh? Yeah, I mean, is, is my time up? Oh, no, no, no. I just got a few more questions, about two, three more. Okay, well, let me two just questions. say this here. Yeah. Also, look up three weeks before this Christmas, this this Christmas, you just passed. Mm hmm And 
the uh, Sears and Roebuck had to apologize to the Jewish community. Did you ever see that? No. What happened? They had their little Christmas packages right out, and one of them was a, a ring for the index figure, and it had a swatch stick on it. Oh, yeah, right, yes. You know about that? Wow, well, yeah, I heard something. Yeah, I heard about that, yeah. But you haven't seen one Jewish person mention it. The Anti-Defamation League haven't mentioned it. So why is that? Huh? Why is that? Evidently, I they, yeah. evidently they put the guns. See, black folks believe the Jews is in charge. Jews have never been in charge, okay? All right. They in charge of us because we don't. Hmm? So who's like really in charge of all this shit? The, the oh, secret rich white folks that run the whole world through white supremacy, not through no damn Ku Klux Klan, huh? Them cats can't even read or write. None of them been to college, and you think they're gonna determine public policy? That show you the mentality of us and the white folks that fall for that crap. Okay. All right. Now. The Monday before Christmas, Walgreens drugstore had to apologize for the Jews because the Hanukkah wrapping paper they used, the woman bought it, Walgreens, and was looking at it, and in the patterns, laced with swatch stickers. They had to apologize, and the Jews had to say the word. And one of the most powerful politicians in the history of the planet, local. The Sullivan, the Jewish cat they busted in New York. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Okay, and they said we don't know how we he can get the trial, get the trial prosecuted, because ninety percent of the judges in New York had to go through him. Okay, but you haven't heard no powerful Jew sit down and that all that mess over there in Paris, huh? where everybody came in to demonstrate, right? about the magazine. That was a Jewish thing, man. The the, the French government is more anti-Semitic, right? Than Hitler and the Nazis were, huh? But don't nobody want to talk about it, huh? Mm-hmm. And so, again, I'm saying that that's somewhere. Hmm? You can't change nothing. If I'm coughing, if I got a headache and just think it's a headache and don't know it's a brain tumor, then I'm getting ready for death. So that's where we that's where we head. Now, what was what was it? questions you had to ask um what's going on with i was uh reading on the internet the other day and um i was reading and they was talking about how these nas nas nasa scientists keep coming up dead and i think that the tally is up to about 74 and 74 well, dead scientists in two let me, years let me, let me do this here <clears throat> this week <coughs> there were not nasa scientists but there was top scientists, researchers, 270 had just disappeared, murdered, blah, 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 blah. Hmm? And the last one was the one from Harvard that was in Memphis for a conference, and they found him dead. And then they blamed it on a black woman, you know, a black woman, that she did rob him. And all at once, there can't be no trial because her car went into a bridge down there, and she burned to death. This didn't just start happening, huh? This didn't just so happen. Now, put a pin right there, and remember the, uh, the uh, Ben Loudon Navy SEAL killing? Hmm? Mm-hmm. If, they, if they did that, my mama did it, right? You know, the <laughs> six Navy SEALs that went up to his room, and got the credit for being the one that killed him in the right. world. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like 24 together in the team, right? Mm-hmm. All 24 of them were dead, and the six was killed here in America. See, helicopter crash. And uh, the, the, the other one was on the rifle range where a Navy SEAL slipped and uh, <laughs> accidentally shot him in the head. Okay? Now, you're not taking my word for it. There was even a congressman that said, we need to have an investigation on that, and I didn't hear it no more. Google that and punch it up. The 
the the uh, the marathon fiasco in Boston. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was the mayor, the governor of Boston, a black man, right? Mm-hmm. The vote. And somebody just asked him, uh, 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 Governor, when did you hear about it? He said, uh, my daughter called me. Wow. What? I mean, here's a man that's over the state police. They got state police guarding him 24 hours a day, and none of them told him? His daughter heard it on TV. He said, Dad, you hear about what happened? He said, no, what? Huh? Oh? Hmm? So then they sent the two FBI agents in to coordinate the whole investigation. In other words, you couldn't talk to the cops. You couldn't talk to the press. If he was a mayor of police chief in a little town, it had to go through them. <laughs> about a month after they got back, both of them were dead. They said they fell out of a helicopter in Norfolk, Virginia, in a training exercise. <laughs> wow. Okay? And so when you stop and think about, you know, what you said, they, they do them all. Uh, have you heard about the, the Malaysian airline plane that went missing? Yeah, yeah. I don't mean to be little. I know you're that. But have you heard about uh, some of the scientists that was on that plane? Yeah, they, yeah. Yeah. Send pictures back. Right. I think but you I, told me about that. I'm not sure. I, I put the no and tell you. I knew it, but I didn't tell you. Shoved the camera up his butt. Of the one you talking about? No, 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 no. What's 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 it, what, what you talking about now? I didn't hear that. I'm no. talking about an Asian plane. I'm just telling you where they are technology, huh? And when you get through, Google it. Huh? Yeah. And everybody in the world who's hip with research know about that, huh? All I'm saying about that one is where they are with technology, huh? Twenty scientists on that plane. I was four of them before the plane trip. Four of them had filed for patents, and the patents is worth $800 billion, huh? And so if me and my brother and you and your brother filed for patents, okay, and then your sister's husband joined the patent. That's five, right? Mm-hmm. So me and my brother, you and your brother, was on that plane. The patent wasn't cleared until four days after the plane was missing. So we, by law, we don't have no part of that. Your sister's brother had You know who was the fifth person on them? The Carlisle Group. <laughs> right, okay. Okay. And they, they 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 do stuff that would make Hitler blush. So that's how that's how it go down. Mm. And, uh, and so mm. that, that 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 don't surprise me what you said that because I followed the other ones. And, uh, and see, Americans are so busy being good Americans they don't know. You see, let me ask you something. I'm just going to play a little game with you, okay? And I'm going to swear you in, okay? So would you be willing to die for your country and what's your answer? Yes, right? Mm-hmm. So that means it's okay for me to kill you after this slide. Because <laughs> we don't want you sitting around somewhere drunk. <laughs> talking. Uh, yeah. And they're doing World War Two. they used to say, a slip of the lip can sink a ship. <laughs> <laughs> slip of the lip. Uh, yeah, so the, the other question was what? Yeah, um... There's been a lot of reports, uh, I guess, started last week. Um, I think it's the Guardian uh, newspaper. It's um, over in Chicago. They're talking Chicago, about... Oh, yeah. um, they've been they've been doing that. They've been doing that. They've yeah, been. Holman Square, a local detention center facility. Yeah. Yeah. Did they also tell you that the uh, the cop that was head of that, the government put him head of, of um, the Navy base in, uh, in Cuba? He's oh. the one that showed him how to do that, and then after the, the, it was over, they sent him back to Chicago. He's back at it again. Hmm? But the Chicago Tribune didn't print it. Hmm? No. NBC News didn't print it, huh? No, no. <laughs> Democracy Now! ran the whole story, interviewed him. He said he still can't understand. Okay. 
Wow. Yeah. And uh, last thing before, um, you know, I know you're a busy man, uh, brother. What What do you think? There's been a lot of criticism about President Obama, you know, Rudy, Rudy Giuliani saying he doesn't love America. Hey, wait, 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 People, wait, 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 wait time. Now, that's yeah. just racist-ass white folks, okay? And you know, you know how, how, what kind of thug he got to be? Right, you know, his children hate him, right? When that gay thing came out on him with the with the police chief, huh? Okay, all right. So you mm. know he must be in with the ball. Nobody mentioned that, huh? Police chief just got out of jail last year about beating up some woman, huh? Well, Bernard Curry, right? Curry, yes, 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 yes. So uh, that ain't even worth dealing with. <laughs> they they say anything they won't say about the president never happened to him. Hmm? But um, my question was going to be, what do you think about all the slack he got from his comments on Christianity? He was talking about Christianity's ugly past, and we shouldn't be so judgmental, I guess, on um, Islam. Well, if Bush would have said it, nothing happened. Hmm? So, again, sometimes y'all black folks forget appearing he's black, and you want to review him with the other crazy? Huh? Y'all crazy? All this stuff that happened? When have you ever heard? I, I hit my phone on. Am I still on? Yeah, yeah. When have you ever heard a governor like that winch out there in, 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 in Arizona shook her finger in his face? Come on, man. And you let these white folk believe this is normal? Huh? It's not normal. Okay? Okay? You go to to go to New York City when the weather breaks and go to traffic court and then ask yourself why is ninety percent of everybody in there to ninety eight percent in traffic court that they black, huh? Do we yeah, black folks yeah. do that much speeding in white folks? And if you believe it, then just take a day off and drive down the street and see how many black folks you see passing white folks. Hmm? Mm. Okay. Then that's the problem that happens to our head. The Klan didn't tell me that Santa Claus was white. My mother told me that, huh? The saying the Klan didn't tell me that uh, when you're out in the street in the evening, son, be careful of the white racist cops. So they pull you over behave. Any time you and I'm telling you this as a father that had three children. Any time you tell a child of yours to respect filth, respect somebody that murders you, it go past that and it goes up to the universal God. That's my child I put together. And you gonna teach that child to respect filth. All right, I deal with you when you get here. Hmm? You know how stupid and ungodly and unspiritual you got to be to tell us don't tell me about this love bullshit. <laughs> Most white folks I know would tell the cop, that's my boy, don't mess with him. If you do, you're in trouble. But you going to tell your son, who you see every day, you see that cute little smile, you talk to him, and you're going to tell him there's some folks out there that will kill you, son. So behave. You can tell him to run. Behave. Hmm? So I know what they say. Huh? Then run. And I know what the problem is with black folks. We're the only group of people in the history of the planet hmm, that went through what we went through and opt hmm, for education hmm, over liberation. Every black person I know was never liberated. We educated. Huh? That's why that's why black men and black women don't know this and most white folks don't know this. I come to New York and go to a meeting. Not all, but if I come there every day to meet with these powerful rich folk dealing with a contract, some white man going to whisper in my ear, are you staying out of trouble? Is your mama staying out of trouble? <laughs> Do you go into the mob neighborhood and ask them are they staying out of trouble? And we black folks accept this, okay? I'm talking about PhDs, education, wrote books. Or you staying out of trouble. You do that when you've never been liberated. George Washington was not beating up the British for the right to build a college. The song do not say, give me education. It says, give me liberation. Huh? Except us. 
me and you can be driving down the street tonight after the show, and we got some brothers, some sisters on the show. One got three PhDs, other got five. They're worth about $20 million. He's driving or she's driving. You hear a cop call sorry, and she squeezed the stern wheel. He squeezed the stern wheel. Didn't know they was doing it. It's in the brain. It's in your makeup. It's in the chemical thing, huh? Mm-hmm. And then when that cop call pass you by, you say, thank God. Don't thank God they wasn't after you in the first place. But what kind of fool are you? That's what happens, okay? And the fact that we don't even know it. We don't even know it because it would be okay if if General Motors made us, if if if, if uh, a Sears and Roebuck made your brain, uh, but it didn't come from them. It came from the same force that made every animal, every human being on the planet, huh? in the universe. Huh? But that's what we go through, and that's why we're so messed up. In some way. One day we're going to have to stop and ask ourselves. Huh? There was more debate over the word nigger than the yellow thing. And if most dark sisters could be invisible and hear some of the things the brothers be saying, hey, man, I want to meet this new girl, Mildred. She's dark, but she's fine. Oh, oh, let's qualify that. <laughs> black men talk about the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. I've never heard a black woman say that, huh? The black of the berry, the sweet of the so that's not for discussion. Huh? When I was a little boy, man, you know, oh, did most of us hate being black? You call me nigger. You must be, come on, man, we we running late. You call me a black nigger, the fight was on wire, because when I look in the mirror, I could see the blackness, but I couldn't see the nigger. Hmm? Okay? And now we're going to just float through this like this is ordinary? Uh-uh, no, no. No, 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 no. I used to hear my mom and her sister talk about, oh, Mildred got some good hair. <laughs> no, I couldn't say nothing to my mama because she was a real fool. <laughs> but I could go say to my brothers and sisters, they think that the universal God makes good hair and bad hair. Huh? Mm. The hair was not made by Sears and Roebuck. Jump. Huh? And how a bunch of ignorant, low life. Slave owning white folks. Huh? Curiosity yep. killed what? Do you know the, you know how to end that? <laughs> okay. Okay, you know where that came from? The slave owner mm. taught that to the slaves because they lived with you. They know how smart you were. And so when I was growing up, somebody said, Curiosity killed a cat. And I said, You know what brought him back? Satisfaction. Hmm? Mm. Okay, that's a game. That's a game, but we don't know it because it happened in my house, huh? In my house. Hmm? Mm. One black woman called me up and asked me about the the, the black young folks wearing their pants below their toes. I said, well, uh, I can't comment on that. I've got 10 children. I've been married 50 years there. I've been married 56 years. Huh? Why you can't comment? Because when I drink, Whiskey for 25 years. I drink a pip of scotch every day. Can I tell you how many times I drove home drunk? You know that's a felony to drive drunk. It's not a felony to drive with your pants below your drawers, huh? So you got to ask somebody else. I'm the criminal, huh? I just didn't get caught, okay? Hmm. And so we can't be honest enough of that. You know, I know who I am. Hmm? I know where other the folk go. There's a thing called heaven and hell. I won't be there. I know that. Thank God I am honest enough to look in the mirror and see the real me. Okay? Why? I have ten children. And that didn't come from no rednecks or no professors at Harvard or Yale or Morehouse. Didn't come from St. Louis. Didn't come from it. It came from the universal God. And that universal God never asked me, uh, you uh, you a child that's on the way. Are you black or are you white? Huh? Uh, uh, do you have straight hair or nappy hair? Right. Can you read or can you write? Did you go to school? Never! Now let me tell you what that means. 
I got here just like Queen Elizabeth and the richest white people on the planet got here. I got here the way you got here. A male organ went into a female organ, and out of that male organ ejaculated 500 million sperms. Did you hear me? 500 million mm-hmm. sperms. Hmm? That one ejaculation. And the one responsible for you and the one responsible for me and like the one responsible for Queen Elizabeth and the rich, rich white folks hmm? mm. got here the same way me and you did. Same way, yeah. One of the sperms got to that egg first, not 500 million. I'm the result of one out of a half a billion sperm. Tell me I am somebody. I know I am somebody, huh? It must be something wrong with you, white boy. That thing, I'm beneath you. Oh, on a social standpoint, but on that judgment day, if there's one, we judge by the same thing. And my judgment will be that universal God gave me the permission to make another God. And I never had an affair with my wife to create God's new life. I'm not talking about the rest. I'm talking about me. Me. Never. But yet, when I stop and think I never bought a car, I didn't check out the year, the make, the model, the down payment, the monthly notes. And when I look at me and realize I put more planet into owning a jive-ass car than creating God's new life, there got to be a punishment for that. And wherever that line is, I'm standing in it, okay? <laughs> I hear you, brother. I go to Budapest in another month. My ticket I bought. Round trip, first class, is $42,000. And then they take the tax money, huh? I'm on my way to a peace rally. We're going to pray and fast. But to get there, uh, and they take the tax money and buy bombs and guns and drones and kill women and children and folks all over the world. And I'm not wild enough to know that I'm buying it. That, that is Dick Gregory, not Dick Gregory, some freedom fighter, some Dick Gregory that marched with King. No, I'm the murderer, too. Every time you go down the street and buy a loaf of bread or a gallon of milk, and they take the tax money, these vicious thug criminals, you part of it, huh? And so that's, I know if somebody's raping a woman and I'm holding her and three other people holding her, we all have to go to trial. And when gone, how come they didn't have some charges against them? Because huh? you're point. looking at me and the rest of us. You're looking at a criminal going to join the criminal. And the reason they think they can do it is <laughs> because mm-hmm. they don't know what they're guilty of. I do. Right. I got one last question, uh, uh-huh. Brother Dick Gregory. What, do you have any predictions for the 2016 uh, presidential election? It won't be they, they got Jeb Bush out there. I said it won't be none. Don't you ask me a question, you'll hear what I'm saying. You ask me, right? You got to elaborate on that, brother. You got to elaborate. That's a that's that's a big statement right there. Well, let me ask you in a roundabout way. What portion of the United States Army, military, or Americans? You just have to figure it out. What, what statement? If you don't know, you don't know, but just take a guess. The United States military service, what por- what portion of them do you think are Americans? Not a lot, huh? I'm, huh? Guessing, you, I'm guessing you're going to say not a lot, huh? Not a lot? No, it's not. No, it's a guess. Huh? Let, no let, guess. Let's, no, no, no. Let's say if, if you guess with it. ignorance, then we mess up the show. I don't know. Seventy-five percent is non-American because they know when the white folk come out in the street, white Americans wouldn't shoot them down like dogs. That's why they got. And how they get in here? They go all over the world. They say, "Look here, you want to be an American citizen? You want a good job? Then join us." That's what it's about. That's what's fixing the come. Now, one of the things because I don't want to deal with the fears. You know, you see something. There's people with a good sense. They can smell something. Somebody else. Dogs can smell dope. I can't, okay? But because I can't don't mean it's not there. So I don't want to deal with it other than say this here. 
sometime this week, you Google, there's over 100 major police departments in America that can't buy guns. There's a gun on bullets. There's a bullet charge that you wear, right? No, no. And then after that, Google, you know, what year did Homeland Security buy $1.5 billion worth of bullets? That's why it's a shortage. They're getting ready for it now, right? All right? And then the Guardian newspaper you mentioned? Mm -hmm. Go back and Google when they ran the story that a week before the last election, they were supposed to kill Romney, okay? All right? And then there had been a new nomination. They had to do it on the phone. And they had to pick Romney. They had to pick the uh, 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 General Petraeus, hmm? a Republican hired by the president to run the CIA. Hmm? Right. He would have been in and right now, me and you, not black Americans, we'd have been under martial law. Okay? Okay? That's what this is about. Now, I'm saying that. Do I know for sure? No, anything can happen. Hmm? You know, they arrested General Petraeus and the 40 generals that were supposed to overthrow the government. Only happened one other time, and that's when Roosevelt, and it wasn't military, it was the Wall Street people, had brought in a bunch of hit folks to kill Roosevelt, and they was going to kill him in, in Florida, where he was doing this outdoor speech in Miami, and they shot and missed and killed the, the mayor of Chicago, okay? And they couldn't talk about it, because trillions of dollars hmm, of foreign money would have pulled out. One thing, robbing a bank is another thing when you're getting a political hit. And that's why you can't hear nothing about what happened but get the Guardian, Google the Guardian. And they mentioned it while the Washington Post and the New York Times had never said anything about it, okay? Well, I definitely will. I definitely and will. so when you look at that, so if we go out, you look at Ferguson. When do you bring out the National Guard for 50 people? Hmm? Right. Okay. That was a that was a drill. Let's go back to uh to New York City when the two cops was assassinated. Yeah, they they they, they was on a terrorist drill. We talked about that. Not only that, they were sitting up straight in the car. See, right? When do you kill me and I don't move? Hmm? Mm. <laughs> okay. And then the guy <laughs> that said commit suicide, right? Yeah. He was running to the subway, right? Mm -hmm. The New York rail system is the safest in the world. Do you know they got they got cameras set up three blocks before you get to the subway so in case somebody drops somebody off? How come mm -hmm. we ain't seen no pictures of him running? How come we didn't see no pictures with him committing suicide inside the subway station? Huh? Okay. They got pictures. They got cameras in there. How come we haven't seen them? Hmm? Then you got to ask yourself again, why were they sitting up straight in the seat? Hmm? Straight. I can see one, but two? <laughs> come on. <laughs> All of that is getting ready for So let's see if it happened tonight. See, it could have happened last week had uh, had they not gone on with the Greek banks. Huh? Uh, there's, a, there's a secret law in you folks that's listening to me. Uh, the last time, about six weeks ago, when the G20 met in Europe and Putin left the last day because he didn't want to be part of it, like, like he's some clean roach, right? Mm -hmm. What they did, they voted in that if the American banks fold again, and there's a new law they voted in over there that said they can take 20% of your pension and 20% of your saving account, and then a damn thing you can do about it because that's the law, and if you do, the guns come out, okay? Wow. So if that would have happened last week, which they diverted, then the president would have dissolved the Senate and the Congress to further notice and declare martial law. And all these white folks that's hating up on the president, he'll be your president till further know this white folks. So get <laughs> used to it. <laughs> okay. Wow. And if I was you, I'd probably try to leave the country, but I don't think he'd be able to get away quick. 
Mm-hmm. So that's my answer to you. Mm-hmm. Well, I definitely appreciate you coming on the show, brother. You gave me a lot of research to do, so I'm going to be looking up a lot of stuff tonight. But uh, thanks, as always, man, for coming on, giving Thank us you. this uh, unheard of information. Thank you much. And, um, you know, I wish the best to you and your wife, man. I, I, I tell her I said thank you, especially for everything, you know, she's done. I know, do a whole know. lot of shows. Every time I do yours and a couple others, I call and say, okay, baby, did it. <laughs> hey, every time he called, you know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, um, you know, well, I guess we'll see you in about a month or so, get an update. But um, other than that, man, thanks a lot. Okay, and, and I want to let me know if anything big happens anytime. Tomorrow, right. anytime, anytime you want me on the phone, just just call her. I'm okay. Have to wait that month. Okay, I All got right, you, baby. brother, and I appreciate it. Thank you much. Peace and right. love. Right. Mm-hmm. Peace. Bye-bye.